Prince Harry is back in California following his grandfather Prince Philip's funeral. But now a source close to the royal tells ET he would have liked to stay in the UK longer. The Sussexes, I think, feel very far away from us over here in the UK. They're, they're in LA now that they're based in the US. And I think we're seeing quite a distinction here between the Cambridges really flying the flag for the royal family and the Sussexes creating a new life for themselves in LA. The source explains that while the 36-year-old is grateful he was able to spend some time in London, he, quote, wished he'd been able to stay a bit longer. I know that Prince Harry was very nervous ahead of coming over to the UK for the funeral. Of course, this was the first time that he had seen members of his family uh, in over a year. And I think it very much was the case that he got the cold shoulder from some members of the family, not his father, not his brother, and not the Duchess of Cambridge. And despite the reports that some interactions with his family were cold, the source tells ET he welcomed the opportunity to reconnect, especially since COVID has prevented him and his wife Meghan Markle from traveling to the UK over the last year. The talk at the palace is that they are absolutely horrified by what has been said. They feel that Harry has literally thrown the family under a bus. Of course, the Duke of Sussex's trip to the UK comes on the heels of a reported falling out between Harry and his older brother, Prince William, after Harry and Meghan's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. Things were not going to be resolved in, in one or two family meetings. So while this has been an important step, there's clearly still a lot of hurt, a lot of resentment, and a degree of mistrust, I think, on both parts. ET source says Harry and William have been working on the commemoration to their mother, Princess Diana, scheduled for later this summer on what would have been her 60th birthday in July. The source adds that while relationships were raw in the aftermath of the Oprah interview, both brothers remain fully committed to carrying on Diana's legacy jointly. I think the hope is that come July, when we are hoping to see the brothers stand once again shoulder by shoulder to unveil the statue in memory of their mother, that the relationship will be stronger and in a better place. Earlier this week, the palace announced that Princess Diana's 1981 wedding gown is set to go on display at Kensington Palace in London this summer. The gown, which was designed by Elizabeth and David Emmanuel, was worn by Diana during her wedding to Prince Charles. With Diana, she, she chose us because she was used to the designs that we did. She liked them felt comfortable. The dress is now owned by William and Harry, who have loaned it to the HRP for the exhibit. The brothers are also planning to unveil a statue of their mother at Kensington Palace this summer in honor of what would have been her milestone 60th birthday.